Step 5. Drawing a double slanted wall. Activate the 5.5.1 point drawing a double slanted wall preset view in the navigator. Open the wall settings dialog and click the double slanted wall icon. Set the slant angles as shown. Verify that the reference line offset is set to zero. Set the wall's height to three meters. Choose solid fill for the cut fill. Modify the pen for the cut surfaces to pen 48. This will make it possible to discern the double slanted wall from the previously created ones. The remaining settings will be adjusted later in the section view. Finally, select the structural double slanted wall layer and return to the floor plan. Start to draw the wall between the A8 and C8 intersection grid lines. As you see, you have to modify the position of the reference line of the wall. Go to the info box and click the opposite construction method. Open the S1 section by clicking the 5.5.2 point modifying double slanted wall preset view. Select the created wall. Click the top right corner of the wall and choose the stretch height and fixed angles option. Decrease the height as shown. Open the settings dialog box with the wall still selected. Set the wall thickness to zero and click OK. Observe that the cross section of the wall has been changed. Click the point and select the drag horizontally option in the pet palette and move the wall as shown. Now return to the floor plan. Hide the structural bearing layer and show the structural walls in the layer settings dialog box. Stretch the double slanted wall on the floor plan window in two directions until its endpoints coincide with the exterior plane of the straight wall. Hold down the shift key or use the appearing guidelines to constrain the vertical direction of the wall. Open the 3D window by activating the 5.5.3 point modifying walls in the 3D preset view. Stretch the length of the longitudinal walls and adjust their lengths to the top of the double slanted wall. Hold down the shift button to keep the original direction of the walls. Select the double slanted wall and open the settings dialog box. Increase the wall priority to 12. Don't forget to reset the intersection group number of the structure walls layer to 1. This will result in the correct intersection of walls.